Hey guys, Andrew here from Polo Reef. Today we have a special guest who we always welcome in our house and we learn a ton from, Mr. Lighting himself, Tulio from Reef Bright. Uh, he'll be here showing us some new products that he's been working on, ranging from smaller tanks to big tanks, from blues, violets to white. Watch this video and hopefully we can learn something from him. Last time Tulio came to visit Polo Reef was during the LED vs. Halide battle. He came to test and show Andrew how UV affects the health of the coral. Today, he's coming to show Andrew some new lights. Oh, Patty, how you doing? How's it going? It's, you, <laughs> it's always a good time when Tulio's around. How are you? Always welcome. Okay. Always welcome. Andrew, it's always a pleasure to, to have you, you back. Hello. Hello again. Yeah. Once everyone is settled in, they waste no time to start talking about lighting. Andrew, I know you and I had discussed some of the stuff a m maybe a month or two. I guess we both kind of felt it was a good idea. Time to again. Back, take, take some measurements and to do this lighting uh, talk scenario again. Sure. I mean, I can start with the ultra actinic. Let's uh, do it. Start, start the right. way you want to start. No worries. So Your show, Julio. <laughs> These are fully controllable. In fact, we have our hydros interface. There's any number of ways that you can control these. You can control these with hydros. But we also, we have a Bluetooth mesh controller, which you'll see when we fire up some of the other equipment. Because, Andrew, you've talked to me numerous times how you've been a fan of many of the violet type of bars and lights. You're a big sound guy. Right? Yeah. I guess you'd call you an audiophile, right? I guess so, yeah. It's all about distribution with your speakers, uh, uh, speaker response, things like that. So that's what it is. So when we demonstrate it over the tank, it's not that these lights are better than that light or anything else. They just have a different distribution. Now it's time to see the lights in action. They head over to the 900 drop down to see a quick demonstration. The team is excited to see how it might help light some of the more difficult spots in the tank. Remember how I was saying about the spread and distribution? Violet's gone. See what I mean? So it's just a different distribution. Right. You see how you're getting that fluorescence and pop? In theory, I mean, you got the white, the 50-50, the blues. Right. Then it, the 50-50 is a different one, though. Yes. Here's the 50-50, which is the same, I guess, animal, form, if you will. Form yep. factor. Yep. And if I do this. Okay, so Andrew, that's... Right here, remember you were asking about the white? Yep. Okay, here's that, here's that white I was telling you about. Right. So you can still see, like you see your elegance right here? Yep. You can still see the natural colors? Yep. And, and listen, that's, that's just the stock light. And look right. at the bottom of your four foot tank. Now there's no violet in this one. It's just, it's no, just. No, there is, there's 450 nanometer in here. But how about like 400 and 410? No, that's the, that's why, okay, Andrew, Back to the, the speakers, when you have a speaker, you don't just have one speaker to do a job. I you see. could have four. A subwoofer, a I got mid. It. I got it. So you would, you would combine them? Yeah, you would totally combine them. What would you say is the spread per foot? Well, here's the interesting thing, right, Tusi? If I take this off the tank, I'm illuminating your feet. Right. No, I'm saying look at your no, feet. I'm seeing it here, and that's why I'm asking. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm lighting up the wall six feet away from me. So, so from this center point, you'd have 12 feet. You have tremendous spread. Yeah. And that's why, Andrew, remember we were talking about the sound? If I focus this sound, then I would have a more focused. But that's really not the purpose of these systems. These systems are designed to throw light. But many people rarely get to see them. And we have people using these on even deeper tanks than this. Uh -huh. I mean, even Jonathan, you own a yeah. store. For, for, for a stock, yeah, that, for a stock that's fixture a for a four foot tank, that's a lot of light. Obviously, there's some other brands that have similar looking bars. I mean, honestly, I have not seen a spread like these. No. Now, now listen, these are great lights up here. Nothing, I'm just saying, but based on these systems, the way they were designed, if you had, let's say, three, like two, see, remember the old days when we had two actinics, one on the outside? Right. 
One on front, front back, and then the white in the middle. If you did something similar like that, you could actually illuminate oh, a tank I like this. Because I've, I've just seen as I want these on my time. <laughs> so that's why we're really excited about the white channel on this, the spectral power distribution and the output of the white channel. The blue channel's there, of course, for the pop and some of that. Right. And, and how does this compare to the, uh, to the one that was here with this big silver? So you're talking about the Hydros XHO? Yes. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. The emitters that are in these devices are, in fact, what the Hydros XHO was built based on. We're very excited about the Hydros XHO because what we've been able to do with the Hydros XHO is take all of this exciting stuff, including the spread, mm -hmm. and then team up with CoralView, obviously, to do the included control, the multi-channels. So the Hydros XHO it's like I took these two and I smashed them together. That's why I'm here today, because that's basically what I told Andrew. We're very excited about the spectral power distribution of that, just because that broader spectrum is going to promote growth. It's like daylight. It's true daylight, meaning right. when you see the spectrum, it's, it's the full band. And we'll show you that when we get, when we set up the spectrometer, I'll be able to show you that white band. Tulio brought a light that packs a serious punch the 150 watt coral light, which is rated for commercial use only. So now the same thing when I come in and I bring in the white, and this has the same white as the 5050 we were just demonstrating. So there you go. That's just one light. That's full. Right, that's just one light. Right. So like, for example, if you had two of these, you'd be the spread on these, yeah. What you will notice is you can see the color change. So that's more, that's more the same white that we had in the other. And then you'll see on the second channel, it'll be a much war, more like a warmer. And then when you combine them, that's what completes that kind of spectral image that will demonstrate when I set up the spectrometer. And that's the thing because see, each one of these lights, I know you and I were talking about it, has a signature. Your T5 lamps, they have a signature. Your halide lamps, they have a signature. What we've been able to do with this particular light especially is come as close as we can get right now to that halide spectrum minus the UV. So now that we've demonstrated the lights over the 900, we'll go in the back where we can hook up the spectrometer. And you said you wanted to get some measurements in one of the acro systems. Yeah. We'll get measurements underwater and show the differences sure. in spectrum and yep. some of that stuff. Let's go. All right, great. After checking out the lights on the 900 dropdown, it's time to put them to the test. Everyone heads to the lab to see the true power of the lights with the spectrometer. The plan is to get a reading on the halide lights first to establish a baseline. Then they will put the spectrometer under the new lights Tulio brought to compare. The awesome thing about spectrum is intensity doesn't matter, it's all relative. Right. Now it'll just show you the primary peaks. Yep. Because we're doing what we call a quick view. Yep. We're doing a quick view of the light. So, and again, you can see big differences. You see that? Yep. Nice and spiky. Yes. You can see big differences. But more importantly, see the spikes? Some of the spikes are actually basically because of the halide technology itself. Right. Meaning like the green spike and some of these other spikes, they're indicative of that. Right. The main thing you want to see is that, that curve right there. Right. Because that's what's giving us that broadband Okay. light that halides are so noted for. After getting a baseline reading on the halides, it's time to compare. Tulio, John, and Joe set up the lights on the adjacent tank and drop in the spectrometer. Everyone's a little bit curious to see the difference. If you remember what you've seen right there, you see that? Okay. It depends on how Tusi holds it. And the funny thing is, hey, Tusi, while you have that thing on there, for kicks and giggles, and this is just random, test the par at the surface of the water. 300, two, almost 300 right at the surface. Right and that's just a single stock light. Right. Yeah. Your single XHOs never true 300. So this is a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, what are they, about 100? A lot. 100. A yeah. 80 to 100 on a small yeah. strip XHO? Yeah. This is a, this is a lot of power. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the new Lumilite Pros, that's what they were designed for. Now again, Andrew, if you look, depending on which LED he's closer to, yep. you see that violet spike right there? Yep. The there's, the, there's the XHO blue. Yep. And then if you went the other way, 
There you go. You see the violet spike? Yep. And you can see the, sh the spectrum shifting depending on where he has the fiber. Right. Water surface, water surface, you know, variations in water surface will make a, more of a difference than the flow itself. Okay. And sometimes in the ocean, you got to think about this too, Joe. It's funny, Joy and I realized this when we were doing the measurements. When you're taking measurements in the ocean, that water's varying could be up to a couple of feet at any given time. Volumolite Pro, is it fair to say that's good for a lot of your a lot of your tank setups, a lot of your general tank setups. The Hydros XHO is more for the bigger, you know what I mean? It depends on the tank. Andrew, most of your tanks are pretty big. Right. On some of the systems where necessary, it'd kind of be old school where you'd have the round light. Right. And then the supplements. I got it. After testing the Luma light strips, Tulio brings out the big guns, the 150 watt coral light. This light is rated for commercial use only. They place it over the tank and begin to test it with the spectrometer and PAR meter. The results, they speak for themselves. 359 from one fixture. Yeah. Yeah. But if there was two next to each other, they'd overlap. Yeah. 235, yeah. 200. I mean, mid tank, you're getting 200 with one fixture. And no supplements or no supplements. No supplements. Yeah, let's test that. The new industrial. Coral View XHO has all this technology just built in, built in with, with, with some super duper stuff, right? The irony of our light is it's actually the only device. Uh, it's got its own hydros brain in the light and it's completely wireless. So you don't need a hydros to connect to the light, nor do you need any cables because the light connects wirelessly. Got it. Yeltsin, turn, turn this back on. How many watts am I using here? Relative? If those lights, if those lights, oh, you have four radions on there. Four so, and, and radions two, and alone. Two, and three blades. Okay, so in radions alone, you're looking at 860 watts, just in radions. Okay. Then add the blades, add the blades, which three. gotta be. 150 each, I think. So, so you're well over a thousand watts on that tank. Well, here's the thing. If you're gonna replace, because you know, you wanna be, it's like the speaker thing, the distribution. Yeah, right. Technically, four lights of the round lights could illuminate that entire tank. Four? Yeah. But we wouldn't have the violet spectrum. Right. Right. You would have to supplement it like you're doing with these yeah. blades. So, for example, if I wanted to replicate or, or reproduce that power, but I did it from a single spot, that would be bad. Because now you'd get hot spots and burning and all this other stuff. It's all about distributing the light. So the point is, is if you took two of those lights and put them together, you would have that even distribution. But- You could run them at less. Exactly, because here's the thing. Four of those lights were still only at 600 watts, not at 860. There we shave a couple of watts. And then some of the other fixtures with the supplements, because now the supplements, you're using them for the pop and what have you. You see what I mean? So there you shave some more watts. So very, I'm very impressed, I have to say. Well, thank you, very nice. You know. Thank you. So I, I need to put an order before you leave. Lighting is an important aspect for the livelihood of most coral. It's important to understand how light intensity and spectral output can affect your coral growth. Andrew prides himself on a high standard and hopes this information helps you become better reef keepers. Well, we just finished our visit with Tulio and Reef Bright. Saw some pretty interesting technology and lights, particularly his new whites that very much duplicate the metal halide bulb and his violets. Those lights are very interesting in themselves and they will be introduced into some more powerful lights by Coral View that we can't wait to get our hands on also. Hope you enjoyed this video. For now, signing off. Thanks again, Tulio, for stopping by. Polo Reef always loves to see science backing up technology. And the test today really showcased the importance of spectrum when compared to other lights.